Tonight we make BKB history for the first time ever, a world title clash with two Welsh fighters battling for the belt. The reigning and defending champion with an undefeated BKB record of three fights and three wins, Dan Indian Spice Chapman! Oh, that's a good kill. Well, when I was on Team GB, it was like it was a bit of a dream come true. It happened so fast. You know, I was so inexperienced, but yet I was good enough to be on Team GB. And I got on the games just uh, before the the Beijing Olympics in 2008. So most of the team had turned over professional, and it was actually great. I come from a little small village in Blind Gwynfi. And you know, people in, in my local area, that's like in another in another postcode, didn't even know where that is. That's how small that village is. Everything has started with John Radmore, uh, with Blind Gwynvy. So, you know, again I was one of those little kids who had nothing, you know, growing up and he took me under his wing and I got to travel the whole world the time I was 17, to being part of Team GB, winning Commonwealth Games, winning on to whip a bare knuckle world title, uh, and, and it all started there. John can't be there in my corner, you know, because he's passed away. But if all the time and investment he's put into me, it feels like he's always there in my corner. To see them achieve from absolutely nothing. Well, one young lad has won the, the Youth Commonwealth Gold Medal. So nice to see him achieving that from a little village as Blengwenby. I mean, I've worked hard, I've had good people with me. I'm hoping to go on to the World Championships, hopefully let's qualify for this 2012. Leading up to 2012, unfortunately, um, I had a really nasty motorbike accident, which ruined my career. You know, I broke both my legs, I broke my femur, I broke my arm, I broke both hands, and the doctor said I would, would never train again. <laughs> We're finally here now where the pandemic is to the, to the end of restrictions and we can live life now, hopefully, the way we was living it and everyone training and eating healthier and mentally stronger, strong again. Sorry, coach. What's happening? Back in camp. Feels good to be back, coach. We've done a long camp last time, didn't we? From last March. I sort of lost the love of it at the end, but um, at the end of the day, we got fight dates coming in this week. And hopefully it'll be against Sean George. It's been agreed that we are fighting, but until it comes from the horse's mouth, I will stay ready. And whenever he's ready, we'll get it on. But a motivation, every time I come in the gym now, I just look at it and I'm thinking, can I win another one in a different weight? <laughs> The only one who knows I do my gloves properly, without me more than The fight was made with Sean George last March. We had a pandemic, cancelled the first show, and then BKB decided to do a lockdown show. They've announced I'll be fighting Sean George on July the 3rd. So, first day of camp. Let's go. <laughs> First one back. Ooh. Shake it off. Put it out the gas in. That it. You know, this is where I show that I'm the baddest bare knuckle fighter on the planet. There's no excuses, there's no buts. I gotta go in there and be Dan Chapman and show people how fast, how sharp Indian Spice is. 
So again, you know, for me, is that such an important thing for me is to stay cool and calm uh, and for me to relax because the work has been done. And that's what it's all about. Good boy, let's go. Come on then, let's go. No, Dan Chapman said a few words of wisdom, but fucking what the fuck do you know about my personal life? But a bit of anger there now. Like, I know I generally don't like him, but you know, he's been four rounds in BKB, but I've been 66 rounds, but you know, you've only been three rounds, but this is scheduled for seven, but he's going to be in deep water, but you know, I ain't going nowhere, but put some cheese on it, whatever you want to say, but I'm still stood here saying, fuck Dan Chapman. You know, I'm confident what I do. It doesn't matter if I say nasty things, nice things. It isn't going to change the way I fight on fight night. Yeah, Sean George is a tough guy. He's a veteran. My respect is there. But, you know, how long can you be a tough guy for? I was very annoyed when he pulled out of the fight last minute. So, obviously, when I went on to win that bit by BKB world title, it just didn't feel the same, you know, because it wasn't against Sean George. I actually prepped my mind for him since last match. You know, if he wants to try and box me, that's, he's not going to win. If he's going to come forward and try and fight me, he's not going to win. People ask me that question, why do you do bare knuckle? And I think, well, I feel like it's a great opportunity to show my skills uh, and share my story. So, you know, yeah, it's doing it for me. It's doing it for, mainly for myself. If I can achieve these things through the obstacles that I have been through in my life, then I'm sure it's going to motivate and inspire other young people to go on and do great things also. Leading up to this fight, my, the, the local community have been absolutely amazing. You know, they've supported me. I've got amazing sponsorships. You know, it's just, I'm, I'm, I was overwhelmed in my last fight when I won the world title, how much people supported me. I thought, you know, it's amazing what a small community can do. We like loads of little ants working together. Um, and that can be a powerful thing. I can't wait. Hey, I fucking can't wait. And our final weigh-in for this evening, feet to the scales, Mr. Will Kearns. I've been in with them all, I mean, I will say, Dan Chapman this, Dan Chapman that. There's nothing he's going to throw at me that I haven't seen before. The harder he hits me, but the more he's going to break himself off. There's bad blood and Sean George lost it a little bit at the way in. People will see him a little bit later on. He lost it at the way in. Dan Chapman believes he's got it inside his head. Yeah. You know. Sometimes that can wear with fights. It is such a sick fight. Such a sick fight. When you're talking about getting into somebody's mind as well, you know, Dan Chapman wants Sean George to attack him. If Sean George comes out in a bad, bad mood and comes looking for everything, he said it won't last because, just as you said, I'll be waiting and ready for it. Oh. Oh. I'm going to go see Sean George in a bit. I'm not fucking taking sides of both pals of mine. They're going to be a fucking war and I can't wait. Feeling good. Tonight, 
tonight we make BKB history for the first time ever, a world title clash with two Welsh fighters battling for the belt. Who's ready? Across the ring, his opponent stands in the blue corner. The reigning and defending champion with an undefeated BKB record of three fights and three wins, Dan Indian Spice Champion! Well, boy, you were asleep like Valley, I'm king in the ring, Catman's a champion. She wanna go shopping in Hatton, hop in a wagon, pull up a Camden. She said we're your friends, they banned them, probably climbing a fence with bad men. She wanna take trips with random, I'm a band that I teach my land the pattern. Trapped on the side of the ring like satin, trying to buy like a Latin. Miami just shut down the tavern, mad on sweet one and apple, raven. You know, the BKB fan base think that Sean is gonna be the warrior, he's gonna be the winner, he's gonna be the one who's victorious on the night. But yet, the real fans, the real experts know the score. They know my ability, they know my experience, they know what I can bring. My speed, my power. So a whole year I've had to think about Sean George. So when it comes to this fight now on July the 3rd, I think I'm going to be ready to take his chin off. For the final time tonight, let's get down to business! Liam, it was. The first round, we're off and running. As we, yeah, as we go low, damn Chapman goes, yeah. you know, he likes that low bobbing and weaving style, hands down. Sean George is stalking him and he's got through good two shot. good shots from Dan Chapman. Good shot from Chapman. That left hook again. He gets out the way quick. Yeah. And that's important, isn't yeah. it? Not but Everybody talks about bobbing and head movement. It's not your head, it's your feet it's get you out of the your hands up tight. Don't walk onto someone silly. Good round. Good round. It's great movement, Dan Chapman, though. He gets out of the way very, very quickly. Yeah, very slick. I think Frank uh, Robin said the word sharp. I think that's up to you. He's just looking there. Just sneak the little right yeah, hand and there, uh, Chapman. Yeah. Hit and get away. Yeah, hit and run. been four rounds of BKB but I've been 66 rounds but you know this is his fourth BKB fight this is my 19th fight you know you've only been three rounds but this is scheduled for seven but he's gonna be in deep water but you know I ain't going nowhere but put some cheese on it whatever you want to say but I ain't going fucking nowhere but I'm in there till a the bitter end but both rounds is yeah no no that, that you know like I say short I thought Sean had a, came strong towards the end of the last round Chapman moving well, good footwork. With, with movement like that, it's hard to hit, yep. isn't it? Oh, Sean George following him out again. Well done, that's yep. better from that's Sean. Better from Get him. That's oh, nice that's better. Left hook. In the clinch, the hook. <laughs> we bit him. We just bit him. Who bit who? Sean on, George on just bit his head. The, ref oh. the referee was in the way, I didn't see that. Oh. So, four rounds, all to Chapman. Yeah, they do a little slip now, he needs to draw George, like I say, he needs to change it up a little bit. Will he touch gloves after the, will he, will he touch uh, gloves after the decision, though, Tom? Good shot from Chapman, nice little snappy shot. Let's go, baby. 
I had a really bad start in life and you know I went up to a little village called Blackwood V. I had an amazing foster home. Mary and Colin, they took me in. They they brought me up like a son. And a little guy called John Radden opened a boxing gym and he just done the basics for me and John took me to the places where he saw the best in me. He turned me into an absolute gentleman for a young age. You know, all the pressures over the years. I have no pressure now and I'm just excited to be back. Do you know what? I'm just loving every minute. The Dan Chapman, I gotta say, the best performance that I have ever seen in a BKB ring. Well, I can tell you one thing, Don Rodmore would be very proud of you. Well done. <laughs> Gracias.